Now we want to discuss a version of the Maya Viatoris sequence that's really practical for applications. The usual situation that you face is that you have a space composed out of simpler spaces. You know the absolute homologies of the simpler spaces and you want to compute the homology of the total space. So the situation that you normally face is not that you have uh, necessarily an excisive triad, but that you have a space that you glue together out of simpler pieces. And this is the situation where you have a push out. So yeah, in this version of the Maya Viatoris sequence I want to discuss now, we have a push out of spaces. Uh, additional assumption is that the vertical maps are closed inclusions and even more the map I is required to be a closed neighborhood deformation retract. We already know that when we have a closed neighborhood deformation retract in a push out, then we get automatically this property also for the opposing map J. So I and J are both closed neighborhood deformation retract in that situation. I claim that the left hand side induces an isomorphism in homology when you map it to the right hand side. So this map of pairs induces a homology isomorphism. And some people call this excision. So they basically um, take this as the excision axiom. In our situation, it's a consequence of the excision axiom of the ironberg steenrod in the ironberg steenrod uh, formulation plus the long exact sequence. Um, but this is really at the heart of excision, this homology isomorphism. And we get a long exact sequence, which uh, looks very similar to the Maya Viatoris sequence for an excisive triad. So in the situation where this map F is not just any map, but it's also a closed inclusion. Therefore, all the maps in this push-out diagram are inclusions of closed subspaces. In that situation, this condition here of being a homology isomorphism is exactly the condition of being an excisive triad. So what's the excisive triad in this situation? Well, it's the triad Z with the subspaces X and Y. Because if F is also an inclusion map, then A is just the intersection of X and Y. And this condition is really the excisiveness of this triad. And then we can conclude this long exact sequence from the Maya Viatoris sequence we had before. But now we are in a slightly more general situation. We really have this push out. So F is not necessarily injective. It's just any continuous map. And still, this uh, holds true. Suppose we already have proven the first fact that this is a homology isomorphism. Then the proof of this long exact sequence is really the same as for the Maya Viatoris sequence of an excisive triad. So there we looked at triple sequences, which was only necessary because we wanted to prove a relative version. Here we're talking about an absolute version. So we would look at um, repeating the proof the previous proof, we would look at two pair sequences, namely the pairs x, a, and z, comma, y. And then we were looking at a commutative ladder of these pair sequences and constructing the boundary uh, maps from these two sequences and this isomorphism. So just have a look at the proof of the Maya Vitor sequence we had before in the case, in the absolute case, and you see that we you never have to use that F is an inclusion. The only fact that you have to use is that this is a homology isomorphism. So therefore, to complete the proof of the whole statement, what's left for us is to show that this is indeed a homology isomorphism under these conditions. So in this push out, let me bring it into the picture again. It's a general fact that if you form the quotients of X mod A and Z mod Y, you still get an induced map by F bar and F. And this map is a homeomorphism.
go from the quotient space to the other quotient space on the right hand side there is this map induced by f bar and this is a very general effect about pushouts you immediately see that as sets as a set theoretic map this map is bijective and um, it is an identification map. So we have a bijective identification map and therefore it's a homeomorphism. So in fact something better is true than the statement that the pair x comma a and the pair c comma y um, between those we have a homology isomorphism. I mean this is a stronger statement. It's much stronger mm -hmm. and uh, but in particular we get for the homology of, of these spaces I should have written it the other way around. So let's start with x comma a. In particular, the homologies are isomorphic, but you're right, it's a much stronger statement. We might also put tilde here and look at the reduced homology. And we so far haven't used the fact that A inclusion into X is a close neighborhood deformation retract, but we use it now because we have shown that in that case, this relative homology is the same. I mean, the relative homology of X comma A is the same as this absolute homology of the quotient space. This was the interpretation of relative homology as an absolute homology. this map. I might also just write f bar star and this isomorphism was uh, the vertical isomorphism was induced by the collapse map so this whole thing commutes and we obtain that the map here the map we wanted to look at is indeed an isomorphism. Maybe another color. And this concludes at least the proof of the homology isomorphism. And as I explained, you now can copy the proof in the previous video for the Meyer Vitoris sequence.